Welcome to another ultimate charge test video. Now, this one is truly special and very unscientific. I'm talking about wireless and reverse wireless charging on these devices. Now, why I like this is awesome is because the only three devices I know that can do this properly. I'm talking about the OnePlus 8 Pro, uh, as well as the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the Huawei P40 Pro. Now, taking a look at each one, the OnePlus 8 Pro comes with a 4,510 milliamp battery, right? Um, and it wirelessly charges at 30 watts, and that's using the Warp 30T charger. You have to use that specific charger. It's a nice looking charger. It's got a built-in fan. It's also got a cable that's attached to it, not a you know detachable cable, so it's kind of hard to put in certain places, just letting you know right away. Design-wise, a little feel there. But when you move over to Galaxy S20 Ultra, it comes with a 5,000 milliamp battery, uh, wirelessly charges at 15 watts with you know the fast charging. It's got a black charging stand from Samsung and it uses USB Type-C, of course. Now, the final one, of course, is the Huawei P40 Pro. Uh, basically, wirelessly charges at 27 watts with its, of course, 4,200 milliamp battery. Now, we're gonna talk about reverse wireless charging in this video, and I'll also include the Galaxy S20 Plus in the wireless charging section. So, without wasting any more time, let's start charging. So, let's start it off with the Huawei on the left, the OnePlus in the middle, and the Galaxy on the far right. Now, as you know, it's gonna power on. I'm gonna leave them in their regular state, so Huawei will be on and the OnePlus in the Galaxy will actually be off and charging. Now, some of you may argue about this, but hey, that's what the manufacturer decided to do, so that's why I'm gonna stick with it. Now, we're gonna check times at five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 44, sorry about that, 50, and then we'll get closer towards the end there to see what happens uh, and who actually charges faster. So 27 watt for Huawei, um, we've got a 30 watt for OnePlus and 15 watts for the Galaxy. So we're getting close to our very first checkpoint, which is the five minute checkpoint. And we've got 10% for Huawei. Um, and then for the OnePlus, we've got 10% also. And for the Galaxy, we have 3%. So Galaxy's already behind. Now in our 10 minute check, uh, where do the Huawei and OnePlus stand? So Huawei is at 20%. OnePlus is also at 20%. And the Galaxy is at six. They've all doubled, but as you can clearly see, uh, Galaxy is still behind. Now we're going over to our 20 minute check. And um, at 20 minutes, we should see some interesting will they, um, numbers. Will they double again or will it actually stay the same way? So 20 minutes, the Huawei is at 35%. And here, the OnePlus pushes a little bit forward with 39 and Galaxy's at 12. So um, we have that there. And uh, we go to our 30 minute mark where the Huawei is at 48%. The OnePlus is at 53 and the Galaxy is at 18. So OnePlus is slowly pushing faster. And here's our 44 minute mark, Huawei is at 61, OnePlus is at 74, and the Galaxy is at 27%. Now at 50 minutes, we've got the Huawei at 67, the OnePlus is at 83, now the OnePlus really pushes further, and the Galaxy is at 31. It's much slower charging there for the, from the Galaxy. Now we're gonna do a check at 58 minutes where the OnePlus is at 92 and the, and the Huawei is at uh, 73. Galaxy is, is way behind here and you'll see what I mean in, in a few. You can clearly see how fast that charger is. Uh, now we'll move over to about an hour and two minutes. Yeah, OnePlus is at 96% and the Huawei is at uh, 77. And uh, the Galaxy is 39. Galaxy is way behind. OnePlus is charging fast. This should be done really soon. And that shows you how fast this charger really is for this device. It makes a whole lot of sense. And now another check here to see when the OnePlus is gonna end up. So the Huawei is not there yet. And the OnePlus is at 100% at an hour and nine minutes. So 69 minutes and the Galaxy is at 43%. That is really fast. Well, 
the Huawei finishes up at an hour and 39 minutes and again still respectable that's a really good time uh, and the Galaxy finished at 2 hours and 46 minutes at 100% so those are some interesting charge speeds let's talk this out let's uh let's hash out those numbers okay that was impressive guys i mean you gotta admit the oneplus 8 pro wirelessly charging in an hour and nine minutes is almost the same as the galaxy s20 ultra charging with its 25 watt charger put that into perspective that's how fast this thing charges that was truly impressive i mean that is outstanding. I want to see more of that. We know there's a 40 watt charger coming from, um, you know, Huawei with the P40 Pro Plus, but it's not here yet. Now, speaking of the P40 Pro, it did a respectable job at an hour, about 39 minutes. I have it. I have done it. I've done a test where it ran and finished about an hour, 16 minutes. So mileage may vary but that's the time i got in this test but still very very respectable while the galaxy s20 ultra uh, finished at two hours and about 45 minutes now this of course with this 5000 milliamp battery and this 15 watt wireless charging remember wireless charging you lose some because of course you're doing that contact contact charging it's not directly plugged in now what's more interesting is the galaxy s20 plus finished at two hours and yeah two hours and get guess what 43 minutes that was not too impressive granted it's a slightly smaller battery but i expected a little bit much better charge times overall now let's talk about reverse wireless charging all three devices i mentioned earlier can do reverse wireless charging i know the s20 ultra can reverse wireless charge at 10 watts i do not know the wattage for the oneplus 8 pro or the huawei um p40 pro but i do know they're less than 10 watts i think the oneplus is about three watts the uh huawei might be about five or so maybe it's the same thing i am not exactly sure but if you know let me know in the comments but the the, the test results were quite surprising my so the test parameters are very simple right three devices right and i am going to try and recharge my galaxy s10e the reason i picked the s10e it's got a 3100 milliamp battery and instead of using like a you know a, Galaxy Buds or something like that. I wanted something that I could actually see how much I get in terms of charge time to these devices. So within 30 minutes, with the OnePlus 8 Pro from zero, uh, what did I get for charge time into 30 minutes? Well, in 30 minutes, it gave me 7% in terms of charge time. So that was actually not bad, uh, even though it was it, that took quite a long time to get 7%. Uh, while the Huawei P40 Pro also did 7% in 30 minutes. Now, in 30 minutes, the S20 Ultra showed its prowess by doing 15% in 30 minutes. So that is just something to take note. Now, the one thing I did notice is that the uh, OnePlus 8 Pro ran rather warm while reverse wireless charging, up to about 91 degrees. The S20 Ultra, on the other hand, was at 86 and the Huawei was still relatively cool. So in terms of reverse wireless charging, the S20 Ultra does a much better job, faster at it too, and gives you more. So if you're conversating with a friend and you need to quickly charge in 30 minutes, you can get 15% and they can go by, order an Uber, go home, that kind of thing. I think overall, this is showing us something pretty, pretty interesting with wireless charging. For the longest time, a lot of people say, wireless charging is no big deal, it's nonsense, this and that. Reverse wireless charging is this and that, no. We've got a wireless charger from OnePlus that does an hour and nine minutes. That is faster than any iPhone would ever charge. And that is even faster than what Samsung does with its Galaxy, depending on what charger you're using with it to as well. So put that into perspective. And then we've got reverse wireless charging that literally will charge a 3,100 milliamp device in 30 minutes to give you 15%. That is still better than some phones out there and some chargers out there. Remember, some iPhones get a five watt char charging block, which is less than that. iPhones don't even, I don't think iPhones wirelessly charge at that speed either. So this is impressive and you guys have to take a look at it. Anyway, if you have any questions, or any comments, let me know. If you're looking for any of these devices, whether it's the OnePlus, the Galaxy, the Huawei, the wireless chargers, check out our link down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.